was going to do with them until yesterday when I finally had an idea. I even had a sore throat, but there was nothing that was going to stop me from filming this video. So you probably know what I made because you read the title. Uh, so yeah, today we're going to be making this adorable Pusheen mirror. I think it turned out so cute. I'm like seriously obsessed with it. I even matched my lipstick with the donut and the great Pusheen with my shirt. So there's that. So here's a little close-up. I'm not really sure if this is in focus, but there's the mirror and you can see my camera. So yeah, I hope that you guys enjoy watching this video. If you do, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, then don't forget to subscribe and let's get started. Okay guys, so for this DIY, you're going to be needing a craft mirror. I got mine off of eBay, but you can totally find this at Michael's as well. Now I'm taking some gray polymer clay and I'm going to roll it out in a medium thickness. You can also use air dry clay, but I prefer using polymer clay because it hardens as soon as you bake it in the oven. Whereas air dry clay will take about two days to harden. And I'm sorry if I sound weird, it's because I still have a cold. I filmed the intro yesterday and I was feeling better. But today I woke up with a really bad stuffy nose, so that's why I sound weird. So now I'm putting the mirror on top of the clay and I'm just wrapping around the clay. But if you notice at the left side, instead of putting the clay on top of the mirror, I put the clay on top of the clay. So once I cut it, you'll see what I was talking about because you don't want this to be a circle-like shape. You want it to be like Pusheen's body, which is kind of like an oval like at the bottom part. So now you'll see when I cut it off that it's not a circle. And that's what you want to do. Using my finger, I'm just smoothing it all down so that it looks really nice. Then I'm taking some rubbing alcohol on a Q-tip and I'm going over it. Again, this is going to really help it to be really smooth and it's also going to remove any fingerprints. I'm flipping it over and this is what it should look like. Now I'm taking a ball of gray polymer clay and I'm making it into two pieces. And then I'm going to make it into kind of like a triangle like shape. It doesn't have to be perfect. So now I'm just placing them on and what I'm going to do is I'm going to blend it in really really well using my finger. So you just want to keep blending and blending and blending and I really enjoyed this part. It was kind of time consuming but I had a lot of fun doing this for some reason. So it's just blending it in really well honestly and that's pretty much it. So then you're going to take some rubbing alcohol on a cotton pad and I'm just going to go over it. Again, this is going to remove any fingerprints and just blend it in really well now is the time to add all of the details so you can do this with acrylic paint you can do this with clay it's totally up to you so I just took a darker shade of gray polymer clay and I'm putting up the three little lines that are between the ears and I'm just going to put in the eyes and honestly this is pretty self-explanatory you just want to look at any image of Pusheen and just replicate it and I did add the mouth with acrylic paint and I didn't bake it I just did it as is because I don't know I was kind of like let me just do it right now but you can do it after you bake it or you can do it before that's totally fine Now I'm going to make a donut, so I took some beige polymer clay and I'm flattening it down and I'm going to take my donning tool and just poke that in so that there's a hole and it looks like a donut. Now I'm attaching on the donut and I'm trying to make it look like Pusheen is holding the donut. To make the donut glaze, I took some TLS and I'm just going to put in some pink chalk pastel and I'm going to mix it in really well. 
And now I'm glazing on the donut. Once that's done, you can go ahead and let it bake in the oven for about 20 minutes. Because Pusheen's whiskers were popping out, I went ahead with my scissor and I cut them. That's because they're going to break off anyway. So when you're making Pusheen's whiskers, make sure that they're flat and not popping out because they'll break. And now I'm taking my dotting tool and some acrylic paint and I'm adding the sprinkles on the donut. And finally, I'm just glazing the donut using some female gloss varnish. You can glaze the whole thing, but I just wanted it to be matte. And I don't have a matte glaze, so I just left it as is. And there is the completed Pusheen mirror. I am seriously obsessed with how it turned out. Like, I'm seriously in love with it. That's pretty much it for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching it and I hope that you guys are having an amazing, amazing day and I'll catch you guys really soon.